Okay guys, to make a uh, Legend of Dragoon Spirit, you will need, this is a 4 inch Christmas ornament, it's plastic. Um, I used uh, tracing paper. You'll need a set of uh, LED fairy lights. I got these at Hobby Lobby, they come in. A little box like this. They are battery operated. They take uh, three AA batteries. Um, I used uh, liquid gold leaf paint to paint. This is actually a uh, clear plastic shower curtain ring. And I just took and put a little bit of uh, hot glue over the ends to kind of seal it. And I painted it gold to kind of mask it on the inside. Um, this is craft foam. I don't remember the exact millimeter of it, but it's thicker craft foam so it can actually hold up your battery pack. Um, I actually used nail polish. This one is uh, A Woman's Prerogative by OPI, and this is LA Colors in Copper. Um, you can also use uh, like metallic paint and stuff on the inside of it. Um, the craft foam I actually painted with Gloss Enamel's Metallic Rich Espresso Paint. And then I sealed the uh, outside of it in Mod Podge. You will also need clear resin. And on the inside of it I am actually going to uh, do the resin in yellow. Because Kongol's Dragon Spirit is a... Uh, like a yellow, like earthy color. Um, that's something to keep in mind when doing a lot of your dragoon spirits and stuff is you want to follow like a color scheme for each one. I also have a red solo cup. And this is a uh, measuring cup that I did. I'm following this line and not the bottom one. Um, whenever doing this, and the reason why I have the said red solo cup is so whenever you pour your resin. You can set it in here and keep everything flat and level. And it kind of helps out. And um, what I did basically is I took and I poured two ounces of clear resin in the bottom of this because it magnifies. I'll show you what I mean by magnifies. As you can see it kind of magnifies. Um, and the reason why I wanted it to magnify is so you can see the eye and everything magnified and it makes the eye look bigger underneath. And when doing um, nail polishes and stuff on the inside I used uh, both nail polishes and kind of like black layered them a little bit and then I put some of the gold leafing on the inside to kind of mask it so you could see it better on the outside and kind of give it a slight like goldish tone um, and I did that on the inside of the cup not the outside of the cup now uh, when doing your LED lights you want to make a hole in your craft foam on the back because this is where your battery pack will sit and I leave uh, a little bit of leeway on the back so whenever you take your battery pack off. You can just click it and snap it and it actually lifts up and you can change out your batteries and then you just put it back down and click it back. And it makes battery changing relatively simple. But you want to actually put your LEDs through that hole first and then wind them around this because this will set on the inside of your cup with all the resin. And what I do with the extra uh, strings on the back is I actually just uh, take on the inside of this and just take some black electrical tape and kind of fold it up a little bit and put some, a couple strips of tape across the back to hold it. And then uh, after all of your resins and everything sets you just kind of take some uh, glue like contact cement or whatever and you can actually glue it down onto here after all your resin and everything is set. Um, this is tracing paper. This is a three inch circle. And I actually used 
like a uh, Wilson's uh, tennis ball lid. This is actually three inches. And you can put this down, uh, cut out a thing, a circle, uh, trim it out. Um, I actually took and just drew like a cat's eye onto it, kind of traced one out a little bit. Um, if you can't really draw a cat's eye, then this is tracing paper, and you can find a picture of a cat's eye on the internet, stick your tracing paper up there, and just kind of like trace over the generalized shape of one, and I just filled it in with Sharpie marker. Um, when doing these, you can use um, pretty much Sharpie markers on it. I haven't tried uh, Copic markers. Um, I have tried colored pencils. Colored pencils don't really work on tracing paper that well for you to be able to see it. So what I did is I actually took my nail polishes because they're kind of semi-sheer-ish. And I actually painted uh, a couple of tones on there. Um, I did the woman's prerogative first and did a couple coats of it. And then I did like a, a darker coppery color to try to do like a starburst effect and then I used a little bit of metallic gold paint over the top of it to kind of give it this particular color so whenever uh, light and stuff shines through the back of it you'll still be able to see it and all I do is I take and I put this down in there first um, and then you can put your lights in and you pour resin on the inside of it and to do the inside of that it will take three ounces of resin which is uh, since my easy cast is uh, one to one ratio you will do a, uh, an ounce and a half of uh, your hardener and an ounce and a half of your resin and what I generally use is these little one ounce medicine cups. Um, I think you can actually buy these in a store or um, you can get some from other places and they're relatively easy to uh, use and I have a few of them that I keep in here just for specifically resin casting but you do uh, an ounce and a half of resin and an ounce and a half of hardener and you mix it together and you can use like the bathroom cup that I had pretty much and you mix it together and you add one drop of your yellow should be sufficient to kind of make it like a yellowish uh, gold orange color and then you pour this over the top of your LED lights and you let it set uh, and then you can use a uh, like your electrical tape and stuff on the back of this and then cap it off and it does have a little hole in the top where you can add a, uh, a key ring or um, I'm trying to think of the word yeah words um, or like a, a clip of some kind to like clip it on a belt or on your costume so it's easier to carry because with the resin and everything in there, it can get a little hefty uh, because it's a lot of resin. To do this, it takes at least five ounces of resin. And the uh, resin box that I have, I think, yeah, this one's the 16 ounce bottle. So it's got 16 ounces in there and you have to use at least five of it per Dragoon. Uh, spirit that you do. Um, something else that I use is I mix all of my resin with cheap popsicle sticks. You can get these uh, conveniently and easily from like Walmart. Um, a lot of the paints that I use are less than a dollar a pop. You can get your nail polish for a dollar a pop at the Dollar Tree or you can go to the dollar store and find some. I had a friend that had a whole bunch of nail polish that she didn't want, so I got a lot of mine for free. Um, the most expensive thing is probably the resin itself, and I use 40% off coupons from Hobby Lobby to get them. Um, and it drops it from like $23 or so to like 
almost not quite half of that thereabouts um, the Christmas ornaments are fairly cheap and easy to get um, the lights I got also got from Hobby Lobby are fairly cheap and easy to get you can also buy them from Adafruit um, and they come with little small um, coin cell batteries about yay so big and they use two watch batteries in the back of them and they last for 18 plus hours if you just leave them on all the time and you can change those out they're about the same but they're a lot lighter than these heftier battery packs are and you can get them in a variety of colors blue red green uh, you can get them in plain white you can get them in like a, a warm light color um, they have a bunch of different colors on their website where you can order them and they're like five dollars thereabouts uh, for one of one string of those which isn't too awful much it's just out of fruits shipping can get a little expensive sometimes but they're definitely really nice products to use for LED lights and their battery packs are really small and easy and convenient and they'll weigh a lot less than having a big bulky battery pack on the back. Um, something else you want to be aware of is the battery pack has the switch on the back. And you want this switch facing up and not glued down. And it's got a little uh, lip down here on the bottom. And you actually, that's the only side you want to glue this onto your foam with. Because whenever you, uh, you pop it open, You can get to your batteries easier and then just set it down and you just pop it back. So this underside is the only side you want to glue down so you'll have to be careful while you're working with stuff and uh, doing things. You can change up color schemes and stuff for different dragoons, use different lighting. You can test out uh, different methods and see what works for you. Um, these Christmas ornaments come in uh, a set of two halves, so you get one full Christmas ornament. So you can do two dragoons for just buying one of these. Um, the LED lights are fairly reasonable and easy to uh, get a hold of. The food coloring, uh, whenever you use it, it actually comes out transparent. So, this is the yellow. It comes out like a yellow orangish color because the yellow food colorings are weird. But um, you can also use uh, neon colors like neon blue. Um, they also have a, a purple. Grab one. This is the neon blue. And it to me it comes out prettier than the actual blue does which would be like perfect for maroons, but it comes out uh, transparent where you can see through it. And all I do with the, uh, the inside of this is I just pour plain clear in the bottom of it so it magnifies. And then I lay my tracing paper on the inside and then you pour your resin on top of it with your LED lights in there. I haven't tested yet whether or not to uh, try to hot glue like a little drop at the top and at the bottom to hold this in a specific place before you pour your resin. I haven't tried that yet. You guys can possibly try to do that too. You can try out uh, different paints, different nail polishes, and kind of like see what works for you guys. Um, all I do for the back of this is I just put it down on the craft foam and just trace the generalized shape down and then cut it out. Um, I paint this and then uh, coat it with like a coat or two of Mod Podge on the back. I don't usually do the inside of it since you're not going to see the inside of it. But I uh, do the outside and the top of this and then usually glue this down. Um, this is mine. This is for Rose. And I didn't do some of these steps for her. Um, something else you can also do if you need to is use your tracing paper uh, and tape it down to a piece of printer paper and print it out also works but um, I, I didn't do that with mine I just 
traced out uh, my cat's eye and just drew on it by hand to try to clear up some of those lines and stuff because sometimes you can get weird lines on your um, on your tracing paper and it comes out kind of weird. Um, they're actually fairly easy and reasonable to make. Uh, your resin, um, whenever you mix it, you have to mix it for three minutes before pouring it. And I usually let the resin set for at least 12 to 24 hours um, before doing like the next set of steps. So you kind of have to be aware of what your steps are. Um, and then I usually pour the the next set of resin in and let that set for 12 to 24 hours. And then uh, after you have your battery pack glued down and your wires and stuff all fastened to the inside of it, then you can actually take and put your back on and glue it down and kind of like finish it off thereabouts. Um, they make really nice props. They look really nice from far away. Um, and if you need to for extra color and stuff, since this is transparent, you can actually take on the back of your uh, your resin. Once it, it cures, you can use the same nail polishes and put it on the back for like a shimmery effect. And it'll actually um, kind of like where it, it, it doesn't like bleed through, but you can see through it and see all the shimmery nail polish and stuff on the back a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to do that with Kongles or not. I'll have to wait and see. But that's pretty much how you make a Dragoon's Eye for Legend of Dragoon. Um, all I do with the LEDs is just kind of loop them around the uh, clear curtain ring, which I painted gold for Kongle. You could leave it clear like I did for Rose, but it tends to show through really easily because I didn't use any colored uh, resin in Roses. Um, I kind of wish I had now in hindsight, but I'd never made one before. It was my first one, so uh, you learn as you go pretty much. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, um, anything in particular you want me to... Uh, to do tutorials on or try to make for you guys let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you um, if you have any specific questions on how to make Dragoon spirits that I may have not mentioned or that you're curious about um, let me know and I can talk to you and collaborate and we can have all kinds of uh, discussions on things but for now I will let you guys go so, okie dokie chokabokies, talk to you dudes later.